Welcome Victron fans and hobbyists of all types. Uh, today I'm putting together my first prototype of the 24 volt step down converter here. This takes 24 in, or in this case, we're testing at 27. Uh, I believe this particular one works up to about 32 volts or so and steps down to five for this cable. And what this does again is it lights up the Lynx lights. So what I'll end up doing with this is covering this whole thing with heat shrink and uh, that'll be protected, but I'm showing it to you for the time being. And then uh, I also thought I'd go over real quick why this is important. Why would you even bother doing this? Uh, it actually serves a really important purpose. So what you end up doing when you get this adapter, and I, and I do have a 12 volt adapter as well that I do make for my customers. We'll, we'll get into how you can get one here in a little bit, but let's, uh, let's turn it on. So I just fed it 24 volts. And now you see uh, one green light. And normally that would associate with these. So if I put this on there, hopefully I don't fry anything. Well, you get the eye. Oh, I just probably disconnected something. So uh, no, everything's still on there, whatever. You get the idea. There's a light there, that just means power, everything's good. But what happens if a fuse blows? Let's simulate a fuse blowing. There we go. Now, we show the power light red, and then it's indicating that fuse would be blown. That's super helpful because you can't tell visually which one of these are blown. And likewise, let's do another one. So that's also why we end up putting, we always put all the fuses on here, even if we're not using all positions, because then it, then it shows green. And then the other way I think of it is you kind of got a hot spare. If you absolutely need, you can take one off. Usually if we do a lot of 80s or something, whatever we do the most of, I'll add a second one right in here, because the worst is not being able to find a fuse. Um, so let's say you want a 24 volt version of this, or you want a 12 volt version. The 12 volts look a little bit different. Uh, we are going to start selling those on our website and actually have stock of them right now. I just make a handful at a time and some people have asked and I've sent them to them. Other people have asked and I've not gotten back to you. I'm sorry. If you still want them, hit me up. Uh, I've got a little, a uh, little bit of time. I'm making a bunch of these up. The other thing is what about 48 volt systems? Well, so far I haven't been fine. I haven't been able to find a little converter like this that would fit because we want it to fit basically right down in here, that will step down from as much as 60 volts down to five. That is also small enough. I found one that'll go, I think to about 50, 52 volts, but I'm not sure if uh, that'll handle the over voltage. I'm trying to work with a supplier on that. So anyway, that's where I'm at there. And uh, if you want to make one of these yourself, I will uh, link the part. This is an Amazon part. It's actually pretty darn cheap. Uh, this will actually work with 12 volts, I believe, as well. So this may just be the new standard one I make. And that way it works in both. See here, uh, let's try this. Let's knock this voltage down a little bit. A lot of bit. Something that you might see in a 12 volt system. And that stays on. Should we see how high that goes before this cooks? Uh, let's not. I, I may, I may sacrifice one of them and just see. But uh, anyway, your mileage may vary, but this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna test this out on my own system because mine's a 24 volt system. So here's what the cable ends up looking like with the heat shrink on it. Here again is what that little chip looks like. It's pretty darn small, but they make the directions pretty darn easy. All right, got it installed in mine here. And I want to show you how we end up putting ours in quite a bit. JD actually discovered this. Just to loop it right in there and then it, it's kind of tough to see, but it tucks right up in that top, right below there. And then we just land it right on there. I've got a bunch of other stuff on here. Don't worry about that double, uh, the double, double nut on there. Those are pretty much just really low amp grounds. I'm not worried about those. And there it is, covers on. 
Now I'm one of the cool kids. Got the uh, lights, I know if I got a problem. So again, if you want uh, any of this stuff or you want help, shoot, you want help doing any of this stuff, give us a call, check out our website, sodasolar.com. Uh, we install all this stuff, we sell it, service it, we do consulting, all that kind of stuff. Sodasolar.com. Stay charged out there. Bye.